praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him glory, not just in the morning, noon, and night. Joshua, first chapter says, meditate day and night, and then thou will make thy way successful. Praise God, praise God. So go ahead and just give him glory. Well, if you already see my title, let's just get straight into it. Go ahead and press tag, share, praise God, praise God. It's nice to see you, my brothers and sisters. Well, I'm just going to get straight into it. I see so many people and I used to think the same thing, especially when I was in Bible college. Um, I, you know, I always excel. Anybody could tell you that was with me. I mean, even when we had like our, um, we had finals or something like that. And we had to preach a five minute sermon or something like that. When I would go, and this is not the boast, I'm going somewhere. Okay. Um, you know, when I would preach, people would say, and you want us to Go behind her just to let you know I always had that force with me, not because I was all that in a bag of chips because I love God and I just want to do it his way. Well, what I'm finding out is that people are not processing anymore. And if you see my title, it says how to be effective in ministry. People don't want to hear this anymore. People think it's a microwave generation to where we just do what we want to do and say what we want to say. Go. That's that's not. I had to find out the hard way too. Don't get. Don't worry. My journey started in 1996. In Manny, Louisiana, under Reverend Clovis Rogers, I was a youth minister. In 1996, um, I, most of you know my story. The first day that I ever preached was May 9th, 1996. Was also the day my mother died. So you know, I would never forget that date, right? But I will tell you this: I was 27 years old, and I just thought I had it all figured out. I was gonna take the world by a storm. I knew my word backwards, forwards. I mean, I knew my stuff. You understand? That did not happen at all as I thought. I went through trials, tribulations, tests. Come on, somebody, failures, things that I didn't even understand. Then when God told me to move to California by myself, I had no relatives or anything. That was another journey. He said, I have to, I felt like Abraham. He said, I got to get you away from your family and get that stuff out of you. Things that had been in me over the years. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm from Louisiana. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. I had to, <laughs> God had to clean me a whole lot of and, and truth be told as, as long as you're living you're going to always be processing come on somebody hallelujah i'm going somewhere with all of this and that's what it's all about processing we have a church that's unchurched that don't want to go through the process and i'm just going to be real with you you act like babies you act like you can't take nothing you scared to hear something you scared to for somebody to say something oh i'm going here for the power of the holy ghost you you in, in, very immature spiritually physically emotionally all of these that's not gonna cut it not in ministry and i had to find out that too so don't get word so on my journey you know um when i moved to california i was under a couple of different ministries and i tell you i bumped my head and i really got upset when they put me in the children's ministry and hold on they put me in the kitchen isn't that funny i'm a chef yeah right and I was up there cleaning toilets and I'll never forget a conversation I was having to myself. I'm cleaning the toilet and I'm like, I'm a whole prophetess and they got me cleaning the toilet. I don't know who they think they are. I mean, I'm just talking and talking and talking and God say, shut up. And I was like, but God, you see this? He said, yeah, I'm teaching you something. I worked with the youth ministry. I would say about nine or 10 years. I'm going somewhere. He was teaching me character. He was teaching me how to shut my mouth. He was teaching me how to take something he was teaching me how to strong how to be strong he was teaching me how to stand he was teaching me how to tell me guess what you ain't always right you ain't got it all together like you think honey i'm going somewhere with this and i don't care how old you are if you don't get that lesson the abcs of ministry you will go around and around and around like the children of israel for 40 days y'all don't hear what i'm saying and i see it all the time and it was even in my life. If you followed my ministry, y'all remember when I used to get on here, I used to be hollering. <laughs> okay, we could, we could talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it then. I mean, I was hollering, you know, trying to, you know, I don't know who I was trying to be, all right? I was just hollering on here. And honestly, and I'm going here. And anybody that look at his live, that particular one I'm getting ready to mention, I don't know his, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but it was Alex Pasani or something like that. And so many people sent me that video. I know he was talking about me. I know he didn't say my name, but I knew he was talking about me, especially when he did this. And what he was saying is that you're a Micaiah prophet, but you don't have to holler at people. You know, he didn't want to say my name. He said, I don't have the mandate you have. So, you know, so he understood. Anybody that don't understand what I'm saying, 
follow him. Go look at the Micaiah prophet. I know he was talking about me. And you'll see. You'll see the details of the um live he did. You know, he said, but you can't be hollering at people. And I was like, and I know he was talking about me because several people sent me the video. And I was like, okay, God, I get it. He said, no, you ain't got to do all that. And I was like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? He said, just be led by me. All right. That's the first thing in ministry, people. You would be having these great big ideas, but it's not a God idea. Sometimes it's a God idea, but it doesn't be what God, it, does, it, it isn't what God said to do. So the first thing in ministry, you got to do it God's way. You cannot do it your way. So many people are trying to do it this way or look at another ministry. And I think that's what I was trying to do. Being that I was under great leaders, I was thinking, okay, you got to be like this. You got to be like that. And for those that don't know, um, prophetess Juanita Bynum actually anointed me twice. So you know how she used to holler. So I think I was also trying to do that just to be honest with you. And God was like, no, Deanna, you have your own style. I'm, I'm going to work with you differently. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Follow me here. He said, I'm going to work with you differently. I'm, I'm going to put something in you and, and I'm going to tell you how to say it, how to say it, when to say it, when not to say. Come on, somebody, what to do, what not to do. Hallelujah to his name. That's how God works with true prophets, true apostolic leaders, true servants of God, because that's what we all are. Forget the titles. At the end of the day, we're all servants of God. So that's the first rule. You got to do it his way. I'm sorry. And if you don't do it his way, you'll go round and round and round. Hallelujah. The second one is the B. You got to be obedient. Mm, that's the one that's going, that's hurting people, right? I'm going to do this. Ain't nothing easy. And yeah, I went there with my grandma. Ain't nothing easy. And ain't nothing free. Come on, son. Salvation ain't even free. He paid for it with his life. Hallelujah. His blood. Come on, somebody. They did him that. Hallelujah. Nine cat, the, the, the um, cat of nine tails. So that wasn't just free. He paid for it with his life. Ain't nothing free. And, and, the, and, and what it is is y'all lazy. Don't want to study. Don't want to do this. Don't want to do that. Just want, I don't know, this world has gotten really topsy-turvy. Ain't nothing free. And you're going to have to work. And yes, even at ministry, you're going to have to get in your word. The Bible says be in season and out of season. Get in your word so that you'll show yourself approved. Come on, somebody, study. Y'all don't even want to study. So have you don't even know the scriptures and be trying to preach. Yeah, I said it. Number C. Third one. You're going to have to be processed. It took me 23 years to get it. And I started when I was 27. I'm 50. God didn't release me to 2012. And I was mad. I was like, I don't understand this. I can preach. I can teach. I know what I'm doing, God. And God was like, no, you don't. And I showed him I didn't. Because I made some mistakes upon here. I said some things I shouldn't have said. I did some things I shouldn't have did. I talked about people that I probably, I, I, it was a thus said the Lord. Don't get it twisted because I've never lied with thus said the Lord, but I didn't do it right. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm woman enough, God enough to tell you I didn't do that right. And I repented. Oh, yes, I got up on here just like I, I'm, I got on here and I repented because there ain't no faking in me. Hallelujah. So with that being said, you got to be processed. You got to allow God and God will send certain leadership and certain leaders to speak into your life to tell you, look, you ugly. You got some, because me, I had, oh, y'all think I'm something not. I had a, I remember one day in Sacramento, California. I ain't going to say the church name because I don't think half of them like me. Yeah, I'm saying it. It's just real. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was still had that stuff in me. And I remember my mentor, this girl, um, she would always try to kiss me on the neck when she see me. And y'all know I don't play that stuff, right? So long story short, when she did it that last time, I actually put my hand up like that. I was going to hit her in the foyer. So I, so God had to really work with me. You understand? My, my mentor said, Deanna, you ain't no thug no more. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And I was like, well, she better leave me alone. She don't know me. So she took me to her office. She said, baby, you can't do it like this. Mm, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Maybe some of you wasn't gully like I was, didn't go through what I went through, but some of you have some nasty attitudes. Some of you can't nobody tell you anything. You don't want to go through anything. You don't want to be told anything. That is how you prosper in this in ministry. That is how you grow. You going somebody gonna have to tell you gonna have to listen to somebody. They're gonna have to tell you the truth. And sometimes it could be a hard truth. I was 30 something years old when I first started ministry for real in Sacramento. I didn't know even how to be nice to people, how to speak to people, how to talk to people, how to walk among God's people. I didn't know. My mentor, she taught me that. Praise God. She was like a mother to me. Hallelujah. And no, we didn't always see eye to eye, but I respect her to this day until the day I die. I just said something right there. 
Some of you don't even respect your mentors. Y'all get on Facebook. Y'all get, y'all know what I'm saying. Doing all kind of stuff. And you wonder why you're going through. Because you didn't put your mouth on somebody that once poured into your life. It doesn't matter whether you like them or not. You don't get to say things that you don't, ooh, you don't hear what I'm saying. You don't get to do that. That's God's job. Your job is to pray and say, God, you know what happened. You saw what happened. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's called processed. What else is being processed? God is processing that, that immaturity out of you. God is processing, um, or, 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 do you know how to pray all night? Do you know how to study all night? Do you truly have a relationship with him? He's processing you. Because some of you, just because you go to church don't mean you have a relationship with God. So half of you don't even know God's voice. Forget half. Most of you, and I'm not trying to bash you or flaunt, uh, uh, trying to flaunt my gift or whatever. Most of you don't even know God's voice. That's not good in the body of Christ. And that's because you haven't spent time with God. And that's what processing is. Processing is spending time with God. Babe, you can go to church every Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. It don't make you no saint. It make you a church go. Oh, you, you be in the church. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do, do TD checks on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you be in church. Oh, you, you know about church. You know church lingo. You know how to holly blessed in faith. You know how to do everything. But you don't know how to pray for yourself. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because if y'all did have, y'all wouldn't be having y'all money stolen from y'all through these fake prophets that be on Facebook, uh, Crookbook, or even in life, in, in real life. Oh, they didn't stole my money because the Holy Spirit would tell you don't trust them, don't listen to them, don't go. Y'all ain't ready for me, hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for realness. The fourth one, D, is you're going to have to die to yourself. A, B, C, D. You're going to have to die to flesh. You, you, you know, back in the day when we weren't saved. <laughs> I know I'd have told some people some stuff. Even when I got saved, I said some stuff. You know, um, I am going to say one thing. I was under um, Pastor Godot Calvary Christian Center. And when I first joined the church, I didn't know no better. You know, I was coming off the street and everything. Technically, I was, yes, I was youth minister, but I'm still in Louisiana. Y'all know how backwards people, y'all know. And one day when he was walking up to me, he said, I ain't scared of you. And I didn't know you weren't supposed to say I ain't scared. But I said, I ain't scared of you. And everybody, just, the whole church was like, did she just say that? That's just to let you know I was unlearned. A lot of you don't understand protocol in churches. No, you don't get to talk to your pastor any kind of way. You don't get to talk and say things that you know is not true. Or even if they are true, you're supposed to go to God. So that D, you got to die to self. You don't get to get on Facebook and say how you feel about your pastor, your leader. You don't get to do that. You will curse yourself. Hallelujah. You think I'm playing? Why are you going through what you're going through, some of you? You better go back and say, I'm sorry. You better repent or you better go to God. That's what you better do. Oh, I've had to do it. I don't know how many times. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When I was processing, when I was dying to self. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And E, A, B, C, D, E. Everything belongs to God. Good, bad, and different. God say vengeance is mine. You don't get to t- retaliate. Some of you want to, I'm going to show them. You ain't going to do nothing but curse yourself. Hallelujah to his name. I know you don't like this. I know it's a hard one. Y'all better grow up. Grow up in God. And that's real. And, and, and hold on. We do this to the day we die. But we have a church. And, and I'm going here tonight. Most of y'all just want to look cute. Be cute. Have fun. That's what's going on in church. The world and came in. Oh, we got to have fun. We got to go on vacation. I don't get to go on vacation. Come on, somebody. Because even when I thought I was, I had to pray for somebody on that ship. And God said, Deanna, you don't get to vacay. I'm talking about I'm going on vacay. That's the world's way of doing it. Ministry is 24-7, 365 days a year, every day, every night. Even if you wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. But some of you, uh, if it's inconvenient, if it's inconvenient, you ain't doing. It. Oh no, Hallelujah! That must not be God. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. God is rebuilding His church right now. Judgment is in the church. I'm telling you right now, judgment is in the church, and that's why you're seeing a lot of things. And God is going to do it His way, whether you like it or not, because He said that's a my church, that's a my people. Come on, somebody, Hallelujah! We have to come back to the oracles of God. Ain't no more playing. Ain't no more straying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because that's what's happening. People playing and straying and, and collecting them, that money. Everybody want money. Everybody want money. Can I tell you how you're supposed to do it? You're supposed to pray to God. And God going to touch somebody hard. And whoever's supposed to sow into you, sow into you. Whoever don't, don't. Praise God. Hallelujah. We don't beg. We don't beg on here. And, and, and I'm going to keep it real. We all have to learn that. Pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle. 
God is going to take care of you. Truly called, I promise you, God going to take care of you. But if you're not called, you're going to have a hard time for real. Now, it's going to be hard regardless. Come on, somebody. You're going to get hit regardless because there's demons. And guess what? They are on their job. Still kill and destroy 24-7, 365 days a year. And to be honest with you, they're in better shape than we are. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo! I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm just saying. A lot of you, and oh, that's good, God. A lot of you are under ministries that are not growing and you're getting hit. What is a hit? You're attached to something and somebody that you're not supposed to be attached to. And because you have a relationship with them, you're thinking it's cool. No, it's not. You're supposed to be where God wants you to be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's and, and how you know? Because guess what? You won't grow. And I mean your money will act funny. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because everything is in the spirit, whether you like it or not. Hallelujah to his name. We better grow up. We better grow up in God. All right. So God bless you. God keep you all. I just, I, I just have to be real. You know, um, high time for lying. High time for playing. High time. People are dying every day without God. And if the church don't go back to evangelists, come on, somebody. It's not supposed to be. God don't care what you drive. No, He don't. He don't care what you, what, what kind of house you live in. No, He don't. He don't care if you have a title on your name. God heart is people the souls of his people did you preach to my people did you reach my people did you feed my people did you love my people did you not judge my people come on somebody hallelujah now if it's thus said the lord hey you gotta do what you gotta do and for the most part we are to love each other back to life because truth be told the same grace and mercy that god gives us every day is the same grace and mercy that we are to extend to each other but we don't do that Mm-mm. y'all want to talk about people y'all want to lie on people y'all want to try to hurt people you better stop that you better stop that you better stop that says the lord hallelujah because your stuff will be funny because god will backlash you hallelujah all right that's all i got to say that's all god said to say I love you through Christ Jesus. I pray that you stay strong in the Lord because it's hot out here. <laughs> oh, y'all don't understand what's happening? Get close to God in this hour and be real. And if, if you fall, get back up, come back for more. Repent. Love each other. Give people chances. Okay, if God tell you not to mess with this person, fine. But forgive people. Too much all that hate and anger. Y'all need to stop that. That's not of God. God is a God of love. The foundation. It must be from the foundation. Come on, somebody, whatever your foundation, if you have a crack in your foundation, then you don't have a foundation. Oh, I just said something. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot soldiers for that is who we are. Hmm, let's get it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The 14 day fast. It is a full liquid fast. And I'm probably going to just do a separate video on it. Um, For those that can't go all the way, just just do what you can. And then go into a Daniel fast. But we need to be on one accord. It's been a minute since I've done this. But it's time, God says. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So praise God. Praise God. Have a great, a great one. Have a blessed one. Make it a blessed one. All right? Have a good one. Bye.